What is up everyone? It is Carlos Simmons, also known as the Gato, and today we're back with another reaction. I am super excited because one of my favorite shows just came back, which is Rising of the Shield Hero. We got season two. The first episode just dropped today, so I'm gonna be dropping this later today. Obviously, I'm gonna try to keep uh I'm gonna try to put out Rising of the Shield Hero on Wednesday and then maybe Thursday or Friday, some other day of the week, put out Moon Knight. Just you know, so people can get like a little bit of time to actually see it and everything. Um so yeah, let's just let's just start. I, I'm really excited to see this. Uh, as always, follow me on all my socials at Carl Simmons. It'll be in the description. Everything will be in the description. It would mean a whole lot to me. Uh, I'm hoping that this season is just as good as the first season because I felt like Rising of the Shield here was very special. It was different than everything else, and it's it's more my type of speed. It's honestly what I really enjoy to watch. Uh, so let's just get into it. Man, really did put in work at the end of uh, season one. Who's inside that costume? I completely forget. Hey, bird to the rescue. She goaded, no cap. She was one of my favorite characters. No cap, this bird is literally one of my favorite characters because like, this bird is a badass. This bird just is with the shit 24 seven. Philo's her name. I've always loved Philo. Like even her design is very cute. I think her design is very, very precious. She just deserves a pat on the head. Good girl. Good girl Philo gets pats on heads. Uh, is a dragon about to appear or something? I'm wondering why the wave countdown stopped. What's a spirit tortoise? So, it, so what we saw wasn't a dragon; it was a spirit tortoise. But what does it exactly do? I mean, they're probably about to tell us. But is it a threat? Maybe the spirit tortoise itself is not a threat, but it brings other things that are threats. Okay, so it is a epic monster. Never mind, I was wrong. So none of the heroes have changed at all, and they they only literally care about fighting the waves now. While the shield hero, because he is the fucking goat, is the only one that's probably going to care about fighting the tortoise, the spirit tortoise. Fuck this bitch wholeheartedly. She can die in a fucking ditch. It is still fuck this bitch. Fuck Ren. Yo, no, fuck you, bitch. You deserve everything you get. I hate how they treat so many of these characters badly. It fucking infuriates me. Like, the only competent person in this fucking show is the shield hero. Um, and by, by competent person, I mean... Co by competent person, I mean, out of all the heroes, the only one that's actually competent is fucking uh, now for me, the the shield hero. Sorry if I mess up his name. I'm terrible with names right now. But everyone else can just suck a fucking dick, especially Ren. Ren can really fucking suck a dick. Yeah, because he's the only one that knows what he has to actually. He, he's a good person. Hey, golden man, golden man. See that right there? That's why you the goat. That's why you the goat, cause you, you ain't just thinking, oh, I gotta only fight the waves. No, you you know you gotta fight the tortoise as well. You goaded for that. Shield hero for the win. Wait, why are you gonna make her a slave? Oh, okay, it's to make her stronger by being a slave, but that's such a weird way to word things. Like, oh, if you become my, uh the shield hero slave, you become stronger. That just shows how much love Redfilia has for the shield hero and for Nafumi. Uh if, again, I'm just gonna call him Shield Hero. Because of the fact that she was willing to become a slave for him. I forget the circumstances, but she, she was happy to become a slave for him. Like, she, she's grown to be happy with it all. She actually loves it, I think. Well, this is, surprising. this is a surprising turn of events. Man, she's doing this all for Itsutsuki. For the bow hero. What a fool. Goaded Philo. Philo is goaded. But Philo is also beautiful. I like her little hair going like that. How does Philo know all this? Oh, Philo's talking to her mother, Vittoria. Okay. That makes sense. I was like, whoa. I was wondering why the hair was doing that, but it's because she's talking to the mom. Gotcha. Makes sense. Risha is going to have to soon start putting her feelings aside for the bow hero because it's going to fuck up a lot of things. Or I think uh, Fumi is going to have to start using his powers of her being his slave to control her. Hey, wait. I just noticed the bats. Oh, and these monkeys. They have, because they are from the tortoise kingdom, they have a tortoise shell in the back. That's pretty cool to the design. Small things I love. I love small little things. He aggro them all towards him. Now what is he going to do? I feel like he's going to have to pull off some sick move. He's got so much more powerful. What I like most about Fumi and also him being the MC, is just how smart he is with his abilities and everything else. Because you would, everyone thought that he was going to be the most useless hero, but in fact, he's the strongest hero. Oh, this is the shield that makes him go crazy. Yeah, he's going berserk right now. I forgot how much of a strain this puts on him, but also, like, it drives him to go into madness. 
And I wonder if he's been able to control all that just a little bit more now or if he still loses his sanity and everything. Man can do a number with that attack though. Holy shit! Look at the damage he just did. And I think he even did damage to the territory's wall right there. Oh wait, who's that? Is she with the Tortoise Kingdom? Wait, why does she want to die? Is she part of the, the, maybe if she dies, the Spirit Tortoise dies? Or she has a connection to the Spirit Tortoise? I don't know, but why, why is she asking to die? I think that this is a phenomenal first episode for this season. Um, there wasn't that much action, but it's, it's, they're laying the foundation for what the season is to come. So we know it's not primarily about the waves. It's going to be about trying to take down the spirit, uh, tortoise. And we also know that if all the heroes don't align, that everything's going to fail. So that is huge. So I'm just wondering what this is all going to lead to. And I'm wondering how things are going to unfold. And when will they stop hating on Fumi? And also, when are they going to kill Ren, that fucking slut? Hey, she's called a slut in the show because, you know, them be the rules when you, when you try to dick over the MC. Fuck, I hate Ren so much. But honestly, solid solid start to the show. Solid start. Could Probably could say it could have been a little bit better. Um, but again, I think it's just building a good foundation for what this season's going to bring. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the new character. Uh, I think her name's Risha, something like that. The one that just became a slave to Fumi uh best girl uh philo is back best best uh bird girl you know give her a little head pets and raphelia fine as ever i think she's of i hope she's of age because if not then i retract all my statements uh and then we got the goat fumi i really hate all the other heroes i actually really like how this show makes you hate all the other heroes because they're just so selfish and arrogant and just stupid because they just think that they are the best and they really thought that Fumi was going to be the worst because he was the shield hero and it's just a shield. But nah, he's a tank. He's smart as hell. And he knows how to do everything else. But with that being said, I'm logging out. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, today I reacted to both this and to the second episode of Moon Knight. Wednesdays are going to be a heavy reaction day. I'm going to have to figure out my schedule with all this. I will try to put out a schedule uh, in the near future upon when I will be dropping all my reactions. But with all that being said, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Peace out. Gato out.